So now we've cleaned up this image and you can see if I turn off the edited layer, it's the original, but with all the color removed. And it came out pretty well. So now we need to prepare this for printing. So the first thing I'm going to do is flatten it, layer, flatten image, pushes it all down to one layer so we can save it as a JPEG when we're ready. And now I'm going to select the part we want to print and I'm just going to use the move tool to move it up a little bit and over to center it in this box we've got. And command D to deselect. So that's nice and centered. The next thing I'm going to do is say select all, command A, and we're going to add a dark line all the way around it. That is to help with the printing, to keep the roller nice and stable. So I'm going to say edit stroke. Um, let's see, the color we want black and the width about 70 pixels. So this is almost a 700 points per inch image. So 70 pixels will be about a tenth of an inch. So that's a good number. We have to go inside. We'll say OK. And there you can see we now have this black line all the way around the image. So Command D to deselect. So here we have what we hope to get out of the printing press, but this is not what needs to go into the laser cutter um, for two reasons. One, the laser is going to etch or blast away or vaporize anything uh, that it sees as black and leave behind anything that it sees as white. So in this particular image, uh, it would give you the opposite of what you want. So we can say image adjustments invert or command I turns black to white. So now we have a negative. And now we also want uh, to reverse this. That's the second thing we have to do because the printing plate needs to be a mirror image of the way we want it to come out. So we can say image, image rotation, flip canvas horizontal. Now it looks pretty good. We're ready to do a test cut on the laser cutter. So we'll take this uh, into Adobe Illustrator and cut it on the laser.